G'day guys, we've come to Club Cholstown today, just out of Newcastle in New South Wales, to show you a 40 foot modified shipping container into a high capacity commercial kitchen. I promise this is going to impress. The club have done a really good job building this outdoor space for their patrons. And today we're lucky enough to have Liam with us to show us this beautiful kitchen. G'day Liam, how you doing mate? Well yourself? Yeah, doing very well. Yeah. This looks terrific. That's oh, great, yeah, yeah. And what's it been like working in a containerized kitchen? It's been different. Yes. Needless to say, um, it's, it has been a journey. Yeah. Um, from working from to commercial kitchens, to small cafes. Yeah. Um, this is actually my first shipping container. No way, okay. Um, and it's been great. It's amazing how much equipment you can actually fit in one of these. I bet, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it, it is basically a commercial kitchen broken into everything sort of in arm's reach. So yeah. In that aspect, it is great. Your productivity must be really high so you can just bounce between item and item, yeah? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. awesome. Yeah. Mm. And why did the club decide on a shipping container kitchen? Well, at the time there was talks of building a hotel on top. Brilliant. Um, so we were trying to capture a, uh, capture a niche sort of market with it. Yeah. Um, so with the hotel being built, we could, the, the reason behind the shipping container is we can sort of lift it up, relocate it. Um, it's it, not permanent, it's is it? Not so permanent. Can, yeah, yeah, it yeah great. Be moved or like, any more renovations that this could actually be moved elsewhere. Yeah, that's um, perfect. And tell me, their customers, what's been their take when they come up and realise it's a shipping container that they're ordering their food out of? A lot of people actually do spin out a bit. Yeah, I, I, I bet. A lot of people sticking their head through the path <laughs> and um, stuff like that. A lot of people want to stick their head under the heat lamp. Uh, a lot yeah, of people okay. wanted to come in and take photos. Um, yeah, yeah. It, so awesome. Like the feedback's generally been like amazed. I think. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, do you mind if we go through and have a walk inside? Not at all. Awesome, man. This looks really great inside. There's so much room and heaps of gear in here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And what's been your favourite thing about working inside this kitchen? Oh, uh, definitely the size. Uh, yeah. As I said before, like everything's in arm's reach. Yeah. Uh, the pack down at the end of the day is really good. Yeah, yeah. It's such a small kitchen that, you know, wrap your fridge, wipe your bench. And so you easy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. In your busy times, how many people can you fit in this kitchen? Well, at our most busiest time, I've had up to three chefs in here. Three including chefs? Including myself. Okay. Um, I've had two wait staff. That's pretty much exceeding the Five list. people, it's, you're maxed out. It's, yeah, I bet. It gets quite cosy after that. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's good. It's good. And would you recommend uh, a containerized kitchen for other people, like clubs and pubs, to expand on their um, outdoor areas as well? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, it also acts as a, another prep station because of the volume of food and customers that we're doing that it does actually help having another, like, another oven so we can I bet. slow braise overnight, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so. And they're a lot cheaper, aren't they, than your conventional builds? Definitely. Quicker, you know, we can we can turn these things around in several weeks as opposed to several months. Oh. So the decision to get one of these on site is a no-brainer sometimes, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Well mate, thanks very much for letting us come in today. I know it's busy and you're just about to open for trade, but do you mind if I spend a couple of minutes showing our viewers just a walk through and showing all the components you've got in this space? No, not at all. Mate, awesome. Thanks for your time. No worries, pleasure. Guys, this kitchen is really impressive. Now, at the beginning of this container, we've got our wash-up station and cleaning areas. You've got a huge double sink and a hand wash station down here followed by heaps of refrigeration storage and a huge industrial dishwasher. Coming into the working space of this kitchen, now we're starting to see some really interesting gear. Here we've got a workbench fridge with all your utensils and shelving overhead and a large combi oven that just snuck underneath this really, really large industrial exhaust fan. Having a commercial kitchen with this much equipment inside, our components really need to be very well thought out as far as layout. We engage both the designers as well as our chefs to come up with a really great layout for best flow. Now, you've got your service area here and point of sale, and then further down, we've got another awning, and this is where the prepared food can be uh, stored in the, underneath these heat lamps and have the customers collect 
from a different section. Now they say if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. But this kitchen is very different. Now it's fully insulated and it's got two split system air cons down each end of this unit. And this large industrial range hood is drawing so much of this heat up through the flue. I'm standing right in front of open flames in the oven, as well as the griddle and two deep fryers, and I'm very, very comfortable. Now, moving away from all the cooking equipment, we've now got another prep area down the opposite side of this container. This has got our cough machines, more hand wash stations, and another food prep station as well. A heap of storage overhead. This is a really, really big space down here. We have an integrated burger bar against this wall, which is a perfect little setup actually. Plenty of space to make the burgers and get them on the grill. This has got a ton of space, as well as more refrigeration underneath. And with all of our commercial kitchens, there's some features that we've all come to see. You've got your commercial grade non-slip flooring, and this is coved up the walls for compliance, as well as plenty of floor wastes that is drained and plumbed out the back wall for compliance and a really easy clean when it comes time to finish up for the day. Thanks very much, mate. No Looks worries. incredible. Mate, my pleasure. Thanks Thank again. You. Enjoy. Just Thank you. Guys, it's been so good catching up with the team here at Club Charlestown. And if you're ever in the area, the food here is unbelievable and the coffee is really, really good as well. Definitely drop into Club Charlestown. This new extension with the courtyard shipping container looks amazing and very family friendly. We love working closely with our clients to develop products just like this. If you've got a project in mind similar to this or something completely different, definitely reach out to us today. We've got you covered and make sure you subscribe for some more great videos. I'll see you next time. I'm getting into this food.